Hello, my love. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Um, long time no see. Am I right? It's been um, it's been a good while since we've um, we've journeyed down this path together. Uh, I'm also going to start off by saying that I'm sorry if you can hear any airplanes or motorcycles or things in the background. I'm going to try and fix it, fix it as much as I can in post, but um, this particular part of town is notorious for air traffic, so such is life. Um, yeah, uh, this is the first time that I've spent quality time with my bullet journal in... I want to say three months. I wouldn't be surprised if it was longer than three months. It, it's been it's been a good while um, since I've been into it. Um, long story short, oh, actually, before we begin, make sure you have a um, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or another beverage of your choosing because uh, this is a bit of a long one. So just settle in, and we're gonna. Hang out for a bit. Cool. Awesome. Um, but anyway, uh, long story short, basically about uh, what's been going on with me is that uh, it was a bad winter. It was a bad winter. Um, so normal depression is fine. I mean, it's not fine, but like, you know, it's whatever then you add seasonal depression on top of that, and then you add a broken laptop, because that's right, folks, I broke my laptop um, towards the end of January. Um, I had been feeling, I had been already been feeling like really shitty, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take this weekend and I'm gonna like organize my email inbox and I'm gonna make everything super good. And then um, I spilled tea all over my laptop, so I couldn't, do anything basically for almost an entire month <laughs> um my mother thanks mom was kind enough to send me her uh, macbook air as a um temporary replacement and it's a very good little laptop but for all the things i need to do it doesn't really have the um really doesn't have the horsepower i guess but we're saving up we're saving up so, it's all good. Um, but yeah, so basically my laptop broke and then I was like, cool, 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 cool. And then that just sort of pulled me back into the well of despair, as some might say. Um, so that's where I've been. And I haven't been journaling. I haven't been making a lot of stuff, um, as I often don't when I'm in the throes of a depressive episode. But I'm on my way out. Um, I can feel it. Um, the sun is out in Seattle today, which is beautiful and wonderful. Um, it's just, I wasn't expecting the, I really truly wasn't expecting the, um, winters here to affect me as much as it did. Um, but it did. But I got, like, vitamin D supplements and I got a happy light and I got the whole thing. Um, when people say that Seattle is gray, they're not lying. It's not even... It's not even rainy. It's just gray, which is frustrating because if it was if it was actually like rainy, it'd be a bit of a relief. But then when it does rain here, it's not even rain. It's just like drizzle a lot of the time, which is not satisfying. I'm like if I yeah, I'm like I want it to rain. I want it to rain so I can hear it on my so I can hear it on the windows um, and that type of stuff. But yeah. Um. It's been a, it's been a time, it's been a time, but it's okay, it's okay, it's all good. Um, I, uh, I know that it's, pardon the forlorn sigh, um, I promise I really am doing a lot better. Um, I finally feel like I'm maybe getting back into the swing of things. I also had a, uh, I'm also watching my video as I'm recording the voiceover and, uh, I just love how the lighting turned out. It just looks so good because I recorded it in the late afternoon. Um, so the sun was kind of going behind my building um, slash like through the tree. Oh man, it looks so nice. It looks so romantic. Um, 
It looks very call me by your name. So, <laughs> um, which I love. Okay, sorry, I digress. Um, uh, I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, yes I do. Um, my dear friend Connor uh, was over the other night and we were talking at length about like um, self-development and stuff because he is a very efficient person and so I was like picking his brain and I was like what oh yeah of course I spilled my tea again because I'm a nightmare I'm not a nightmare I just am very prone to tea spilling so now I'm terrified to have any beverages of any kind near any of my electronic devices electronic devices I don't know anyway um <laughs> I told you it was gonna be a rambly one um my friend Connor was over and um we were talking about um, we were talking about efficiency because he's a very efficient, uh, productive person, um, and so I was picking his brain about it because this is this is stuff that he's done a lot of extensive reading about and like I mean I've read lots of blog posts and stuff but I've never met someone IRL who has put that shit into practice so I was like what are your secrets? Um, we even touched on like Taoism and Zen Buddhism. Um, because I was talking about there's this book that one of my acting teachers assigned to us in um, assigned to my class in college uh, called Zen in the Art of Archery, which is essentially a book about um, how Zen Buddhism um, plays into becoming a master of any art. Um, because in pursuing Zen, then you pursue the artless art, wherein your craft or the thing that you do. Um, becomes so mindless and effortless that it is no longer ne it's an artless art um, and so it's about sort of that ease um, and uh, unthinkingness that comes along with things which is um, a status that we can hope to achieve like you know in many different facets of our lives um, but uh, we t mentioned that we also talked about Taoism and very briefly he mentioned like um, how in Taoism uh, you want to be like water so that you can um, adapt easily and fit perfectly into like any situation or any circumstance that is presented to you, which I thought was very interesting. Um, but the main thing that I got out of our uh, the main thing I got out of our talk was uh, small small steps and uh, sustainable loops, um, which is to say that. A trap that I fall into a lot, especially when I'm coming out of a um, depressive episode like this, is that I um, I get all jazzed up and I get all inspired and then I'm like, cool, um, I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and everything is going to be exactly the way that I want it to and I'm going to get all the things done that I want to do and I'm going to like, um, I'm going to have a perfectly productive day, but of course that never happens because I am human. Um, and so, as a result, um, I, of course, you know, get disappointed um, with myself. And I get disappointed in um, my failures and my shortcomings and how um, I... Sorry. Um, I just get... Um, I just get very frustrated with myself. Um, so then of course I end up beating myself up a bunch and then I fall into yet another like pitfall. Um, but by doing things in small steps, um, it makes it easier to, um, I'm sorry, I'm just, well, I'm distracted because the, the, the planes are so bad today. Um, I wish that I could ever get like clean audio, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but you know, then I get um, like super disappointed with myself and um, I get really angry and I become very self-defeating. Um, but if you take things in small steps, then you are able to the chances are that those habits are going to stick and like stick around and um, take hold in the long term. It's much more likely. Um, I wish that I could give you concrete examples of how I'm trying to do that, but um, 
Sorry, I just found my camel back. I thought that I'd lost it. Oh, good. Um, I am trying to, um, right now my big thing is that I'm going to bed before midnight um, and I'm waking up at uh, around 7 a.m., which has been going well the past couple days, so that's exciting. And um, I'm trying to every day keep my work hours between like 9.30 and 6. Um, and then after 6, I'm trying hard to like not do work um, so that I have actual time to relax. And um, also at the end of each day, I'm trying to not like, um, I'm not beating myself up and getting down on myself for all the things that I've done that I've done wrong or that I failed at that day. Instead, I'm taking a moment to instead evaluate and say, okay, so this is how things went today. Why did they go this way? How can I do better tomorrow? Um, and by doing that, then you build um, sustainable habits and sustainable loops as opposed to just me waking up one day and thinking that I'm going to be perfect and just like totally kill the game right off the bat. Um, also, I really like how my yearly spread turned out. It's very warm and comforting. Um, and that quote, it's one of my favorite quotes um, from Van Gogh, and it says, um, if I'm worth anything later, I am worth something now, for wheat is wheat, even if people think it is a grass in the beginning. Because um, I think, I also think about that a lot. Like, if I'm, even though I'm maybe not doing all the things I want to do, that doesn't make me any less worthy than someone who is um, on the opposite end of the spectrum from me. Uh, I'm trying to be very... I'm trying hard to be um, gracious and kind to myself, because uh, also after I get out of a depressive episode, I'm very want to, um, like, uh, dive back into things with uh, like vim and vigor and I often overload my plate and I try and do too many things at once and that just ends up in me burning out again and falling into another episode. Um, so if I'm not careful it can be a bit of a vicious cycle. Um, so I'm actively trying to avoid said cycle this time around. Um, I really like my yearly spread. It makes me happy and calm to look at it, which is a good sign. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer that I didn't do my January spread or my February spread. Um, but, oh, I guess uh, I'm also planning on like changing how I go about my planning system. So I love my bullet journal and I still want to use it, but I feel weird calling it a bullet journal because I'm probably just going to be using it as like a journal, um, more of like an art journal. So I'll still be doing monthly plan with me's, um, but they're not going to be the sort of, I guess they're not really plan with me's, I guess they'd be more monthly jour journal with me's, um, but like this spread was just me writing about, um, writing about just like how I was feeling during these past couple months and how I'm feeling coming out of them. And I think that I want my journal now to be a place where I can explore ideas and I can write down like ideas for the shop or um, ideas for my business or uh, like things about commissions or research for like um, fitness stuff. And I just want it to be a bit more of a, um, more of a personal development journal, I suppose. Um, but a little bit artsy as well. Hey baby, ooh, ooh, pardon me. And maybe some good old to-do lists thrown in there. Um, I really like this little rose medallion thing that I made. Um, I'm very keen on my Copic markers, if you can tell. Um, I love my Copic markers. <laughs> um, and I've gotten a lot better with them um, as of late because I've been using them so much, uh, which is a very nice, good feeling. Um, yeah, so I, I won't be using my bullet journal for planning anymore, but I, I want to use it again because holding it, I, I forget how much it helps when I do work in my bullet journal 
So I want to get back into it. Um, and then for like planning and stuff, I have uh, a planner from Fran Nerd um, that I want to use on a day to day uh, for like planning ahead and stuff. Because it just makes it so much easier. Because then I already have the months and the weeks, and then I just have to fill in to dos and things. So it's it's much easier for me to manage. Um, and I think that it'll be easier for me to keep up with that way. Uh, yeah. Have y'all been well? I hope you've been well. Um, thank you, by the way, for 40,000 subscribers. That's amazing. Uh, you're all very kind, and I appreciate you very much. Um, that's wild to me. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your kindness. Um, you're lovely. But yeah, uh, this is just me scribbling and scribbling and scribbling and trying to sort through the mess of thoughts in my head. It's hard sometimes, y'all. But, um, the sun is out today and, um, spring is hopefully around the corner. Um, the big thing is, is that I just want the leaves on the tree outside my window to come back. Um, because I was looking back at footage from last summer and I remembered how incredible it looked and how beautiful it made it, how beautiful it was and how it made me feel. It made me feel so wholesome. So I'm just waiting for those leaves to spring back to life, but those probably won't be coming around till like May or something. Um, I start rehearsals for my play in a couple weeks, which I'm so excited about. Um, I start rehearsals on the 31st of March for my show. Um, if any of y'all are in the Seattle area, um, the show that I'm in, The Wolves, opens at, um, it opens at Act Theater uh, on uh, April 20th. Tickets are on sale. Uh, we run April 20th through uh, May 13th. Um, so I think that'll be, it's gonna be such a good show. And I'm so excited to get into rehearsals. I'm excited to, meet all the other women in the cast. Uh, I mean, I've already met them all, but like I'm excited to get to know them and be friends with them. And I'm excited to be on a stage again. Um, I need to start memorizing my lines um, so that I'm off book by the first rehearsal. And uh, I also need to get a little bit more confident with a soccer ball because currently I have, I don't have any kind of, I'm, I'm a fairly like athletic person. I mean, well not athletic, I mean like I'm pretty, strong and stuff, but I don't really have any proficiency when it comes to sports. I'm just very competitive and I just hope that that's gonna like carry me through. Um, but I need to practice because uh, for this show I'm, I'm, I'm playing a very good striker. Uh, we don't play any soccer on stage, but we do drills and stuff, so I need to uh, practice so that I feel a little bit more capable with a soccer ball. I'm oh, sorry for yawning. I'm just such a sleepy person. There's nothing I can do about it. Oof. Oh, okay, sorry. Also, um, have y'all... Uh, okay, one, for those of you that listened to The Adventure Zone, what did you think of Taz Amnesty? Wasn't it amazing? Two, I'm so excited for Dust. I think it's gonna be great. Um, three, I joined my first D&D campaign and I'm playing a wood... Uh, I'm playing a druid wood elf named Chad and I love him a lot. Um, he wears board shorts and uh, a puka shell necklace and Birkenstocks. And he's very, very dear to me. Um, but the problem is, I, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> he's such a chill dude and I'm a very unchill person. And so I need to like, I need to get better at um, making decisions from his point of view as opposed to mine. Um, and now we're all done. Look at that. Oh man. Oh, I love it so much. God, I've missed my bullet journal. It's so nice to be back. Feels a bit like coming home. I always, um... I always have a hard time putting my way back to myself. Um, whenever I go through these uh, periods of darkness. Um, and it's really frustrating. Um, but even though, even though I can never remember the way, um, 
I do always find my way back. And um, I think that that's the important thing. Um, all we can ever do is keep moving forward. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I love you a lot. I'll talk to you soon. Stay brilliant. <laughs>